Hi guys, it's Denmark. Welcome to the Wolf's Den or welcome back to the Wolf's Den. And today I have a haul. Um, I went to hang out with my niece. Um, who, uh, we got started early from 10 to about 2 uh, just to get her out of the house because she's been going through some things. And just go have a girls' day, go shopping, get her nails done. I just got matte black with glitter. I was going to get the stiletto nails, but I was like, I'll do that next time. I really want the calls, but, but yeah, got that. She got her nails done, just gel with um, Carolina Panthers blue, and then one of the, like, this finger was black. But yeah, this has got Bath and Body Works, a little bit of Ulta, roses, a few things from Walmart and Target. So, because my thing was we'd go out, get her nails done, and have a fun time, and get your school supplies too. That way, you're all set for that. Um, cause school starts back for her in a couple of weeks, a little, I think. So yeah, that was fun. Um, she's 15 and I'm 34, going to be 34 this year. And we just had a blast. Cause I'm like stuck in that teenager mentality. <laughs> I don't, don't know why. My makeup is, it has been on since 8.30 and it is now 4.30. So if I like, my hair's all frizzy because it's humid outside and I just washed it last night. And it's just, ugh. But anyway, let's see here. I will start with Ulta. Like some of the places I only got like a couple things from. The only thing I don't have is something I brought to my brother, which was a pennant for UNC. So he's got a UNC like memorabilia wall in the garage in his man cave. So I got that for him at five below. That's the only thing I got. Um, I love that store. Oh. Um, and also I got a Real Techniques basic beauty blender knockoff because mine is um, looking kind of decrepit right now so and of course I finally got the Norvina palette I had my coupon for $350 off took it with me I put it in the front seat I thought I left it in the back seat so I didn't think to check the front seat and I forgot didn't get to get my $350 off but it was with this and this it was like $50 and some change because this is $42 and I checked it to make sure it wasn't um, broken or damaged so my first Anastasia eye palette and I'm really excited about it because these colors are really really pretty so yeah so when I went to Ulta they had this advertised in the window and it was right there at the beginning as soon as you walk in I'm like yes I don't like the feel of the palette though I don't like the feel of velvet like this flocked thing but it's okay it just gets, sends chills down my back I don't like it not the good kind of chills so I'll be doing a swatch on that too sometime soon. So it's relevant. <laughs> Let's see. Target's where we went to get our school supplies. So I've been wanting another sketchbook because I don't know where my older ones are. And I've been picking up drawing. So I just had this little small one because I have a problem with. I just draw something in the center and I don't make backgrounds. I do them digitally. But I just got the small one. I want to do Pokemon Gijinkas, Gijinkas, however you say it, where they humanize Pokemon. I really want to, I only know the 151 originals, so, yeah. My camera gets too shaky, it's because the cat turned off and on of it. Hopefully it won't be that shaky when I put this back. And then I got, crank that Frank made me do this. I haven't gotten a CD other than Taylor Swift in a long time. And I like the this is gospel and Emperor's New Clothes and I was like, cause I listened to Pink at the Disco with the first album and then pretty odd I could not get on board with that album, I'm sorry. So I kind of stopped listening to them. So I got this last one though because I really like those two songs. Um, but yeah, it's just fun seeing somebody so excited for something you want to get it to. I don't know. Plus you have a boom box in the living room. so. Taylor Swift and Panic at the Disco we take turns. Next thing we got from Walmart. Oh, I forgot. Um, they had the new Harry Potter one. They are $13.88. They also had new, like really, really detailed dolls um, of Hermione, Ron, Harry, and Dumbledore. And then they have these little, they're not Funkos, but they're smaller little figures. I think they're rock candy figures, maybe. Um, there, but there's mystery ones. There's nine of them. And I'm hoping I either get Nymphadora Tonks, so that's the one I really want because I love Nymphadora. 
where I left Tonks, actually, because she doesn't like to be called her name, and Luna's wand. If they had a Lupin wand, that would be, like, dream wand, but, yeah. And that's the one I'm going for, but I'll accept either one of these. I'll accept them all. I really don't want the Death Eater or the Voldemort wand. I just want the traditional one. This isn't the one that, like, actually you, you run the spells and you play with. It's just a display wand. I don't even know if it's made of wood. It's probably made of plastic. But they have Luna, Tonks, Voldemort, Death Eater, Hermione, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Draco, and Neville's wand. Neville's wand looks pretty cool. But yeah. So, then I hit the clearance table and... I got this Descendants doll now with the um, Descendants 2 at the end. The, what, what dance is it called? Flotillion or whatever that they were on the boat. Um, she was down to $13 from $20.96. And the new series of Barbie Fashionista dolls came out. And there are all the dolls. And I saw this and I had to have her. She is tall. She's not curvy or anything. She's really tall. She's got green eyes and she's got this pastel purple hair. But in the hair, it's got like strings of glitter in it. And it's really cool. And she's got a little um, Pegasus shirt on, tie at the waist, kind of like a crop top, and little denim looking shorts. So She can sit up there with my other fashionista dolls. She's number 88. The only other one that I saw that I liked was the, was the one in the hood. 89. She's kind of tan. But she looks tall as well. I like this one. This 90. And they had her. But that dress, is, I need to take that and put it on my little Taylor Swift looking one like this and change her outfit. But all the other ones, I was like, eh. But lots of body types, lots of different hairstyles, skin tones. Let's see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Ken dolls. Looks like there's two Asian ones. And two, oh actually three deeper skin tones and one really pale white girl band. No offense. And one really pale um, girl with a blonde afro. Which, okay. Um yeah. Interesting. Um, I wanted to get some new foundation because this is not my color. It's a little too dark. And as you can see, my redness, I try to bring it down to my neck, but it looks weird. It looks kind of like, it almost looks dirty to me. It's like too dark and just looks muddy. So I want to shade higher and got the nude eye, I think it's like shade or two eye um, higher. Nude Ivory. It's a light and neutral. The one I had was this, um, and the pink peach something or another. So, and then I just got some more setting spray. Um, Went Wild Finimat Photo Focus Matte sp Setting Spray. Oh, that's the wrong side. I was reading the Spanish side or the French side or whatever so foreign language. I also got some Went Wild Setting Spray. Um, it is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. It was like 4 dollars and you get one, almost uh, one and a half fluid ounces. So, that's it. Yeah. One of these days, I'll have a place to put my dolls, like on display. Like, I'll get a like, cabinet, put some doors on it so the cats won't knock them over. We used to live at another place, like a house, like that had a room in it. I had them on this, you know, this little cheap plastic stacker, stackable shelves. I had them on that, but every day I have to sit there and re stand some of them up because when I'm taking them out of the box, because my cats will knock them over. But anyway, I went to the 374 van and I found Robin Hitman in tights, so. Very excited about that. I've always had a crush on Carrie Elwes, Elves, however you say it, from this movie. So I know from the Princess Bride and this movie. And then I got this for Cody or my son. Wait, um, he's not lazy. Um, fluffy cat. It's just absor absorbing favorites, not an underwater favorite episodes. 
he's got like the, what six seasons or something on this big like 32 disc set but I figure this one he can take over there and not worry about getting messed up so he loves Minecraft and Spongebob my next stop is Bath and Body Works um, I had gotten an email this morning with $10 off of a $30 purchase plus in store they actually told me that all the scents like the lotions body sprays or buy two get one free so I got two and I don't know I need to pick out the third one's a sheet because she didn't feel right let me buy her that because her mom had sent her a little bit of money to spend like for some school supplies but I'm like no this is what I'm here for I'm here to spoil you get you on a sugar rush and send you back home um, and she said I'm the cool aunt so that when a 15 year old says that and it's like yay I'm cool I'm hip I'm not awkward so we're getting a little hand sanitizer because at the beginning of last year I ordered about 20 they had like a special going on so I got enough five and I got ghoul friend which I'm assuming was from Halloween last year and it smells like wickedly wild berries but it's supposed to smell like um confetti cupcake and that's pretty much it so explanatory and hello sweet baby this is I don't know what this is what is it soft or fresh okay I swear I heard somebody scream. It must have been the TV in the living room. Or somebody going by, like, the traffic. Because it's, yeah, the PCS is getting ready to close, so we're not closing. We're getting ready to do a swift shift switch. Alright, and I got Cotton Candy Bliss. And I got this one because it was glittery. Um, please adopt me. It's got a unicorn on it, and it is Peach Bellini. Bellini? That's a, I think that's, like, a cocktail drink or something. I like peaches, and I like glitter. Oh, it smells really good. And this is the last one they had. Look at this. It's a freaking pastel, beautiful, squirrely squirrel. This one was $7.75. And it does like that. You squeeze it, its head and it'll light up. It okay. took me forever to find a spot. There we go. I don't know what the point of a light up hand sanitizer is, but I thought it was just too cute. I was just trying to see if she wanted the one, but she didn't. I got the sprays, rose. It smells so good. And champagne, apple, and honey. I love anything that has peach, honey, lavender, or rose smells. So, yeah, these are $14.50 a piece. So, this made $30. And then I just got the hand sanitizer. Like I said, I needed that. And then I got found that cute little dispenser. All my other ones are cats, but I have to change one out. Put a squirrel, a squirrel up. Yeah, my total at Bath & Body Works was $34.96. That's not bad at all for three body sprays. I think she got the new one that's in this set, but it had like vanilla and something or other. It smelled very beachy to me. I don't like beach stuff, but they go to the beach every other weekend. So um, yeah, for all that, I think that was a pretty good price. And the last place I think I've got stuff from is from Roses. If you don't know what Roses is, I don't know how prominent they are around the States. They're kind of like a big Dollar General or Super 10, like that kind of quality, Family Dollar, if you guys have that. Um, I really like shopping their like underwear and like bras and stuff because they have like every size um, and they're like nightgowns um, and they have some really good prices on their home stuff like microwaves and blenders and you know, all that cool stuff. Um, most of their t-shirts like graphic tees are um, religious inspired I didn't know that that's like a, I didn't know it was that type of a brand but yeah if you're looking for some cheap clothes there's really nothing over 20 bucks there clothes wise and that's like pushing it usually it's like between five and seven dollars so but yeah I got some sleeping stuff right now I'm wearing my Taylor Swift Meredith t-shirt from the official Taylor Swift site. So I got this in my gown and it looks like something my grandma would wear but I don't know. I just dig it. It was $3.99 and it's just got this lace detail and then it just comes down to about your knees and it's got I think carnations on it. So it looks like this cute little like dolly like Barbie thing. And then I got 
I don't know if I got too much pink stuff, but this was six dollars. And this is just a sleeping shirt, a long sleeve shirt with owls on it. Pink and blue owls. Oh, it does. Oh, it has buttons in the front. They don't go down very far. But they got a few, it's got a few buttons. I was wondering what that was. Because when I picked it up, I picked it up this way. And kind of a button detail. And the last thing I got was a pajama set. Well, actually, the last clothing I got. Um, this is tank top. It says, always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn. Then always be a unicorn. And it's got matching shorts. Which, they're 2X. I hope they're big enough. Those. If not, I'm just kidding. My mom. That's why I like getting the sleep shirts. Because I know they'll fit over everything. But yeah, I'm going to change into one of these. When I get done filming for today. I got her a pair of like sandals with um, they're like strappy, almost gla gladiator styles um, sandals. Except they, didn't get, they only went to like ankle, and they were tan straps with studs in them. They also had black like that, and they were $14.99. So. Right. I got a couple of tacky looking towels. They were $2.50. Cause I need some more towels to actually clean up in. And nobody can say these are their towels because they're just weird colors. I really like this one. They only had one of it, so I just got the other stripe. They're beach towels, but they're towels. And then I found this small pillow. I don't know where it's supposed to come from, or if it's supposed to be like a pit bed. I don't know. It was in there with these, like there were some those sequin mermaid pillow things. It's a 17 by 17 inch decorative pillow for 250 but I need it to put to my knees because sometimes I'm curled up on this so hot or so low that I can't, it won't reach my knees, but this will, and it's nice and soft, and it's my favorite colors, like purple, blue, and teal, I just, yeah. Alright, so that was my haul, um, I'm going to go open up this wand and see what I get, and that'll be another video, it'll be a quick one probably um yeah so like subscribe and join the pack and if you'd like to see more hauls let me know um yeah. and until next time i'll see you later guys bye